Hey there, Maniacs viewers, you watching the main man channel. Not just the name, it's the way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Each and every day, just making it in this cruel old world. So, that being said, please make sure you check me out on Parler, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OogeTube, GunStreamer, GunTube, Gab, Getter. Appreciate all the support there. If you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. I could always use the help, folks. Also, please make sure you sign up for the Glock 19 giveaway. Link will be in the description, link will be in the comments. Make sure you sign up for the September knife giveaway link will be in the description link will be in the comments that being said let's move right along with the topic of today's video so yeah this is going to be one of those main man philosophy videos you know it is what it is okay so that being said let's talk about goal setting all right so Let's say you set a goal. Well, if you set the goal and you work hard for it, the goal should happen and happen pretty easily, right? Well, maybe not easily, but the goal should happen. If you put a lot of effort into it, you put a lot of thought into it, you try it, you get it done, you do the best you can, all those things it should happen right if you've worked hard at it well it's not always like that it's not always easy like that life gets in the way uh, the universe tries to get in your way you yourself who is your own worst enemy tries to get in your way things just get in the way so that being said knowing that and everything Human beings are overachievers. We are. We have that in our nature. But we also have underachieving in our nature. That being said, if you're going to set a goal, you need to have a good mind and idea of what your goal is. But that is not what you need to work for. What you need to work for is a goal that you absolutely, it will be almost impossible for you to reach. And you're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What I'm saying is, without dragging this out all day, I'm going to give you four examples. Now let's take a... We're going to use these four examples as athletes, okay? Let's take these four guys. Let's take a bodybuilder. Let's take a fighter. Let's take a martial artist. And let's take a YouTuber. Me being the YouTuber. But, that being said, all right. So, let's take the bodybuilder, for example. If there's a bodybuilder and he says, well, you know what? I am going to, say he's just starting out. He says in the next 10 years, he's going to compete in a professional bodybuilding competition. That don't seem like that, that much of a goal. I mean, he would have to work hard on it. He would have to work hard at it. You know, he would have to bust his ass, you know, he'd have to, he'd have to kill it at the gym, uh, he'd have to eat good, uh, he'd have to do all those things, and uh, he'd have to build him a heck of a foundation, and he'd have to get really strong, because the foundation, you have to build the foundation and put on the mass to be able to tear it down and rip it, and make it look good, right? Well, anyways... That would be a pretty achievable goal, but he might fail. He might reach it, he might fail. It depends on what his personality is like, or hers, or her personality. The thing is, if she says, she kind of knows what her goal is in her mind, but that's not what she's working for, or he's working for. That's not what he or she's working for. If he says, or she says, hey, I 
I am going to strive to be Mr. Olympia or Miss Olympia in 10 years. Then that goal of become, uh, you know, competing in a professional bodybuilding competition, that would be reachable for them because they would be striving and putting everything that they had and everything that they had into it to try to be Mr. or Miss Olympia. But that's probably, in 10 years, may not be a realistic goal. Then again, it might. But if their goal was just to compete in professional bodybuilding within that 10 year period, they may make it. They may make it sooner than that. But they'll be striving for the big picture of what may or may not be reachable. And then they will achieve what is reachable. All right, now, let me give you another example of that. So, let's take the fighter. The fighter says, all right, I'm just getting into amateur fighting. Uh, I'm gonna be world champion in 10 years. Now, you know, that fighter might be boxer, he might be a kickboxer. He might be a, a Muay Thai boxer. He might be a MMA fighter, whatever he is, whatever sport he's in. But just say, say a fighter, he or she. And they say, well, I'm going to be uh, world champion in 10 years. That may or may not be a good goal. But if they said... I want to be a competitive professional fighter within 10 years period. That's an achievable goal. You know, probably even a possibly a ranked fighter. That's an achievable goal. But if they're setting on, if they got, if they set and they go for the championship, you know, in their mind, that's what they're striving for within 10 years. They may not reach there in 10 years, but they will reach their, the goal of being a fighter. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So you can't, you have to set a realistic goal, but you have to try to achieve something higher than that goal. Now, let's take the martial artist, for example. And let's say there's a martial artist who is a black belt in Shotokan Karate. Let's say there's a martial artist who got his black belt in Shotokan Karate when he was 12 years old. All right. Let's say that. And let's also say that this black belt who was in Shotokan Karate took Taekwondo in his 20s and made it to a mid-rank and then uh, not, a, not a black belt, but he made it to a mid-rank, midway to a black belt. And then he let other things get in the way in the life and they got away from it. Well, let's say that that martial artist wants to be a black belt in Taekwondo within 10 years. Let's say that martial artist wants to be a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu. Well, it would actually be a brown belt. I think brown is higher than black in Jiu-Jitsu. But they want to get their brown belt in Jiu-Jitsu in 10 years. That's probably an achievable goal. But if they're just achieving for that, then they're not going to reach that goal. What they need to be achieving for, what they need to be working for, what they need to be looking to, what they need to be going after is being the highest ranking master of both those martial arts in the United States or maybe even the world. Then they will achieve their goal if they're putting everything they got into it and they're trying to achieve more than what they can achieve. But they'll achieve more by striving for a higher goal. Always set your goals higher than what you're wanting and you will succeed. Okay, now let's take me now, finally, me as an example. I'm the YouTuber. Okay, let's say I decide I want to be at 100,000 subscribers before I turn 50. That's a pretty achievable goal. 
we're at about 2,500 and something subscribers right now. So, I'm planning on getting to 10,000 as soon as possible. I've got that goal in mind, and I want to achieve it as soon as possible. And maybe even before fall, maybe even before winter or before next year. I'm looking to do that. I'm looking to do it as soon as possible. We may not reach it that quickly, but we're going to. And I think that once this channel gets to 10,000 subscribers, this channel will be able to reach the goal of 100,000 subscribers, adding 10 more thousand a year by the time I'm 50. That seems like a pretty realistic goal. But am I going to make it by just thinking that and thinking that way? Absolutely not. Here's what's got to happen, folks. I have to be able to set myself to a higher goal. Let's say I set my goal to, I want to be at 10 million subscribers before I turn 50. I'm 40 now. Then, if I work as hard as I can, I throw everything I can at that. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. You know, I keep working. I keep putting videos out a day. More and more and sometimes. I keep doing it. Then, I can achieve my goal of getting to 100,000 subscribers by 50. But not by the time I'm 50. But not by trying to get 100,000 subscribers before I'm 50. You got sweat in my eyes. I've got to be trying to get a hundred million or ten million. That's what I gotta be. Uh, that's what I gotta be going for. And I will reach my goal. I may even beat my goal by doing that. So, what I want y'all to think about, folks, is don't just set your goals on what seems like a feasible, achievable. Yo, set it higher and strive for higher. Be positive. Go at it with whatever thing you got. And folks, your life will change for the better. And you will achieve more than you can ever imagine by reaching for more than you ever imagined. All right. That's what I had on that. And I was thinking a lot about that today. And my dog's eating grass and coffee. You know, they eat grass when their stomach's upset. They just do that. But anyways, folks, I want to thank y'all for watching the Main Man Channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just the name of the way of life. Got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Each and every day, just making it a school of work. Appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Ootsoup, Gunstream, or Guntube Gap. Appreciate all the support there. Feel called to check me out on Patreon. I can always use the help there. And, uh, folks, sign up for that Glock 19 giveaway. Sign up for that uh, September 9th giveaway. And keep watching the channel, folks. And uh, keep sending me your requests. You know, what y'all want to see. I'll try to do them. I'll try my best to do them. And uh, keep sending me the challenges, folks. I like challenges. And, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it at there. Thank y'all. I'll catch you next time.